In this video, we will look closer into SI conversions for volume, changing from cubic centimeters to milliliters to liters. Our friend Lisa has a problem she needs help with. Earlier today, she bought a fish tank and has a length of 45 centimeters, a width of 30 centimeters, and a height of 30 centimeters. She reads online that beta fish need at least 19 liters of water to survive. Would this tank keep a beta fish alive? We want to compare the amount of water inside the fish tank to 19 liters. So let's have a look at this fish tank. To find the amount of space the water takes up in the tank, we have to multiply the length, width, and height together. What is the volume of her fish tank in cubic centimeters? We will multiply the length of 45 centimeters by the 30 centimeter width along with the 30 centimeter height. Both the numbers and the units will be multiplied for the volume. With the numbers, 45 times 30 times 30 equals 40,500. Because the measurements all have two significant figures, that means that the 40,500 will be 41,000, rounded to two significant figures. The 4 and 1 are significant, but the three trailing zeros are not. Significant figures will be a topic of a later video. Now, just focusing on the units, we have centimeters times centimeters times centimeters. Since we are multiplying the same unit by itself three times, the volume unit becomes cubic centimeters, one centimeter for each dimension. So our answer is 41,000 cubic centimeters. But we're not done yet. Right now, we still can't compare cubic centimeters to liters because they're different units. However, we do know one crucial piece of information. One milliliter is defined as one cubic centimeter. How many milliliters is her fish tank? That's right, we can multiply the 41,000 cubic centimeters by the conversion factor one milliliter over one cubic centimeter. This way, we have cubic centimeters on both the top and bottom, letting us cancel out the units. It's similar to dividing the same number by itself, which equals one and doesn't affect our final results. This leaves milliliters on top for our answer, which 41,000 times one is 41,000 milliliters. Lastly, to make a fair comparison to 19 liters, we need to convert 41,000 milliliters to liters. Let's change our milliliter into scientific notation, which is 4.1 times 10 to the fourth milliliter. Remembering our prefixes, we know that each milliliter is 10 to the negative three liters. Try it out and see if our tank is suitable for a beta fish. To set up our conversion, we multiply the four times 10 to the fourth milliliters by 10 to the negative three liters over one milliliter. We want to multiply the base of 10 with the exponents first, so when multiplying, we add the exponents of the same base together. In this case, we add the 4 to the negative 3, which equals 1. The base of 10 stays the same, so part of our answer includes 10 to the first. Now we multiply the coefficients. For 10 to the negative third, we can assume it has a coefficient of 1, because any number multiplied by 1 is itself. 4.1 times 1 equals 4.1. So overall, we get 4.1 times 10 to the first liters. Another way to write this is 41 liters, and 41 liters is greater than the 19 liters recommended. So Lisa's fish will have enough space in the tank to survive. 